Today we're going to make spinach, feta cheese, phyllo triangles and here are the ingredients that we need. I've got six of these. These are little frozen pieces of spinach. They came in a bag. I also have one cup of feta cheese. I have some butter that I melted down. That's going to be to put on our phyllo dough and I also have one egg. Not many ingredients, but boy, we are going to mix up something really, really good today. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to microwave the spinach. I'm just going to add a couple of tablespoons of water. I'm not actually going to measure it, just a little bit in the bowl. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with some plastic wrap and I'm going to microwave it on high for about three minutes. All right, the first thing we're going to do, get a bowl we're going to put our egg in the bowl. There we go. And just get a little whisk. Just whisk that around a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump in all our feta cheese and just mix that all around. Now with this recipe, it's very, very you know, it's wide open. You can do any kind of ratio of spinach to feta cheese that you want. If you want to add more cheese or less cheese, um, there are no rules, so you can do exactly what you want. You know, the, there really aren't any, you know, specific guidelines for this. Some people like more cheese in the recipe, some people like more spinach. So there we go. I just want to get that well incorporated. Now I want to just show you the spinach that just came out and that is very hot right now. Okay, so that's what it turned into. All I did was remove the plastic wrap and that's what it looks like. What I wanna do now is I just wanna drain that because there is a little bit of water at the bottom and I don't want that getting into my mixture. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a strainer. I'm gonna drain this over the sink and I'll be back. All right, so what I've done, I just took my bowl inverted it over the sieve and then I took the back of a spoon and I just pushed all of the spinach down to get all the water out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get that in there and I want to just get that well incorporated into the mixture of the egg and the feta cheese. Now feta cheese is very salty so there's no need to add any salt to this. I'm not adding any pepper. You can add some pepper if you wish. So there we go, that looks good. All right, perfect. On to the next step. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working with our phyllo dough. We're also going to get our oven going at 350 degrees. So around now what you can do is you can preheat your oven 350 degrees. We always wanna put things into an oven that has already come up to temperature. So never, when you're baking, never turn on your oven two seconds before you're putting something in because that will give you different results that you don't really want. Your oven should always be preheated before you're putting something into the oven. Okay, so that's good. All right, I have some phyllo dough here that I've already used. I'm just gonna show you. If you've never worked with this before, it's very easy. What you do is, it comes in a little package and you wanna unwrap this. And what I'm going to do for this recipe, I'm just going to take a couple of sheets. So it comes in sheets. So you're going to see what I'm going to do for this recipe. I'm just going to take two of these sheets. And they're very, very, very thin. So be very careful with them. So I'm going to take two sheets off. Now, if you're leaving this stuff out, what you want to do is you want to take a damp towel and put it right over this because this stuff will dry out in a couple of minutes. It just starts drying out right away. So what I like to do is just wrap it right up again. Just like that. I'm going to put it back in my plastic, put my little thing on there, there we go, beautiful. And I'm going to bring our little sheets over and you can see how delicate this is. Look, you can see in areas it's a little bit ripped. You can get this brand new in the package and it almost looks like it's drying out. It, you know, it's, it's amazing, 30 seconds in the air and it already starts drying out. So let's go over this. So it comes in a roll, you unroll it, 
you take out the sheets that you want. I've got two sheets here. So what I'm going to do, now there are different schools of thought. What you can do is you can do, you can brush a layer and not brush a layer, or you can put two layers together and only brush the top layer, but this is how you do it. So you just take the first layer off and you just get some butter down. And you don't have to be perfect with this. Now, a little secret that if you're in a uh, restaurant or a bakery, what they will do to save a lot of time is they have aerosol butter cans and they will spray these layers. So you can see how long this takes. You know, at home it doesn't take a long time doing this. However, if you're making a lot of these, this is very time consuming and time is money and I would have already been taking too long on this. And it all depends on the shop. Some people will do it everything 100% you know the traditional way and some people will go a faster route. So it's basically like a, a can of cooking spray and you'll just spray the whole thing over. And There's nothing wrong with that. You can do that. So there we have the first layer. And then what we'll do is, I'm going to get our second layer on. I'm just going to, this is already breaking on me. I'm just going to try to get this on. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it on like that. There we go. Just hold it very gently. You can see that how easily this stuff rips. But don't worry about it because once it's in your mouth, your mouth is never going to know. So there we go. Because this is all going to be wrapped. Okay, we're going to do a little special wrapping technique. Now at this point here, you don't have to put any more butter on there. If you want to be, you know, make it a little bit more rich, you can go ahead and just do this. And there are different techniques. You can do the dabbing technique, or you can get it on there and you can go every little bit of it. But I don't find there's a need for that because the way we're folding this up, every portion of this is going to get, um, you know, our butter mixture. So there we go. Beautiful. So what I've got here is a sharp knife. And I'm just going to cut this into three sections here. So very carefully, I just want to get my first cut down here and then another one here. You don't have to measure it, just kind of do it by eye. Let me just get it here. There we go. Perfect. So we have one, two, and three. What I've got here is an ice cream scoop. And I'm just going to take some of the mixture and just press it down just to get a nice mound heaping scoop. And I'm just going to get it right on there just like that. And then I'm going to show you how to do this. So what you want to do is you want to take one end and you're going to lift the end over very, very gently. So you're basically making a triangle. So you start from one end and flip it up. Don't worry about it cracking. The other thing too, I'm only using two sheets here. You can use three sheets. You can use four sheets. There are no rules. It all depends on what you want. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it over the other way. And so what I've done, just by doing that, I've actually doubled how many sheets are on this already. So now I'm going to take it again, and I'm going to flip it the other way. Where are we going here? There we go. And then we're going to go back the other way, just like that. And then very gently flip it up the other way, just like that. And then we can just lift the end up. There we go. Beautiful. And that one there is done and it's ready for our tray. We're just going to put a little bit more butter on the top. So I'll just get that and I'll be back in one second. I'll go get the tray. All right. So there's my tray. I'm just going to take this, put it on my tray right here. Hopefully I'm still on camera. There we are. Okay. Then I'm just going to take a little bit more butter and just dab it all over just like that. If you want, what you can do is you can take a little bit of salt and just sprinkle it on the top. 
So that's number one. So I'll get going with the other ones. So we'll come back here. There we go. And we'll do another one. So we'll get that on there. And we'll go again. So we're just going to fold over. Just like that. And then we're going to fold over again. Like that. There we go. One more time. Fold it over again. And don't worry if it rips because when they come out of the oven, they're going to be beautiful and no one will ever know. And there we go. I'll do the next one before I butter them up. And you know, you can put in a little bit less if you want to make more of these. These are really big ones. You know, you can split this up so you can do, you could have do, done four little runways of these instead of three, and that's going to make them considerably smaller. So now I'm just going to start again. I'm going to go one here, and then slowly, gently flip it back, just like that, flip it like that, flip it like that flip it like that and flip it like that if you find it a little dry what you can do is put a little bit in the inside and then you can just gently flip it over just like that let's go get our tray so we're going to be putting these in a 350 degree oven for about a half an hour it all depends on your oven. You want to really watch these and make sure that they don't burn. But from my experience, it's about a half an hour. You might want to take them out after 25 minutes. If, you're, if they're not, if they don't look really, really brown, leave them in for another five minutes. Leave them in for 35. In your oven, you might find that only 22 minutes is, is the magic number. So there we go, beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop these into my oven, about a half an hour, and I'll be back when they're done. Alright, let's make some smaller ones now. So we'll get out our phyllo dough, open it up. I'm just going to dab it like that. So I'll just speed the video up here. We're going to cut this into four strips. So there we go. I'm just going to lift that section back on. See, there's different ways of doing this. You can just do, you know, lift half a section and then lift the other section. You see? Let's put it on an angle like that so you can grab it a little easier. You can see how delicate this is. It's very, very delicate. There we go. And you know what? If you want to put a little bit on the top as well, go ahead. You can just give it a little dab. Just like that. There we go. Another way, instead of, if you don't want to use a knife, you can just use a pizza wheel. So kind of look at it, there's half, well, that's about half right there. So just use your pizza wheel, cut down the middle, there we go. And then just cut that in half as well. Hopefully we've cut right through. Okay. We can just check just by running our knife like this all the way along just to make sure. There we go. And then this one here, just run your knife underneath the next one just to make sure. That just ensures that you're not going to have any problems when we're rolling it, you know, folding it over. All right, for, so for this one, I'm using a smaller ice cream scoop. And I've got my mixture here just on the side. And so I'm just going to grab a little scoop. There we go, just like that. I'll start over here. 
So put one there. Get another one. And put one there. Just a little bit. Okay, just like that. You'll see how much smaller these ones are than the other ones that we're baking right now in the oven. All right, so let's just take it and just do a fold very gently. There we go. That's our first fold. Then you want to fold back on yourself. So come back this way. There we go. And then up. And then down. And then up. And down. Up. And down. And then you can take a little bit of butter on the inside and just fold it over. And there we go. Perfect. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna whip through these and I'll be back in a second. All right, so there we go. So I've just done a few small ones. So I'll pop those in the oven. I'm gonna let those go and I'll be back later and I'll show you the whole thing. All right, so I just played them all up and I just wanted to show you what they look like. So here's a large one and here is one of the small ones. So this one here, we cut the sheet into four and this one here, we cut the sheet into three and you can see the big, big difference between the two. So let's just cut into one of the large ones and I'll just show you what the product looks like. Nice crunch, yum, and there we go. Can you see that? Oh, that looks good. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.